I got about 15 miles out and it lost power. And it was, I tried to make it to Brazil and that was six miles away and I didn't have enough altitude so I had to put it back. So you circled back and you were coming back this way? It was the flattest, easiest spot to put it in. I've, I've been flying 46 years now and this is the first one I've ever been. Never the first one I ever had to put down. So you put it down in the road and then got up into the ditch, is that? Well, it? what happened is I got down there and this plucked the wingtip and that threw me over here into this sign right here, which did most of the damage. First time you've ever put an aircraft down? 47 years? Six years. Where do you live when you're from Ohio or you're no. from here? I'm, uh, I have a plane parked in Boone County and I'm from Carmel. Where in Boone County? Lebanon? Lebanon. Yeah. What kind of plane is this? This is a 1973 Cessna Cardinal. Good aircraft. Oh, solid as rock. What's going to happen to it after tonight? Where's it going to go now? Well, it seems that it may be going to the Greencastle Airport, at which place uh, we call the insurance people and they tell me what's going to happen next. So, you know, I, you practice these things day in and day out, and you never know when that time's going to come. So, you know, it, it's just very hard to, to you know, it's... 46 years, hey, uh, and it wasn't that big a damage, you know, really, but it, you know, it's more than what my pride will stand right now. But. Well, it's a numbers game, eventually. Well, hey, flying is normally safe. I mean, uh, it, it, I'm the biggest coward in the world, I, you know, if it was, wasn't safe, I wouldn't do it. So, no. Uh, you know, it, it's a numbers game, as you say, but hey, uh, if it hadn't been for a road sign, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation. I just parked it along the side of the road and come back for it tomorrow. Was it, you think it's fuel or you think it was mechanical? Or? I haven't checked yet, and it's just too early to tell. I'm not going to speculate. How but scary was that moment when you realized, uh-oh? Well, you know, uh, talking about my pride and joy here and uh, uh, you know well there were a lot of fields out there that I could put it in but you know I was trying to do the minimal amount of damage that that can be made on, on this I'm trying to make the best out of nothing so you know I didn't have a river to put it in or anything like that so we put it down on highway 40 here and if it hadn't been for that sign and everything we probably would be having this conversation what about, it was 70 out of the question, getting over there? How's that? Was US 70, I-70 too far? Oh, yeah, because I was five miles from Brazil, but I was too, I was started out at 4,500, and, uh, it, you know, I just didn't have the altitude to make, make enough. Well, 70, uh, 40 would have been a better shot than 70, because you, that sets a heavily traveled inter interstate and everything. And, you know, I'd, I'd rather he got on the brakes and stopped at about 30 foot sooner and, you know, wouldn't have had the damage. So you're from Carmel? Yeah. Which, again, we may not have your name right, but what is your name? Snyder, S N Y D. Your first name? John. John Snyder. And you were, you, you had somebody else on here on the, before, I, right? You I had picked up a young lady and everything at Toledo to bring over to, from one of those deals where her father lives at Toledo and her mother lives in Terre Haute, so I was bringing the young lady over here, and she didn't get a scratch, all safe and everything, and, uh, you know, it's uh, one of these unfortunate things, but hey, we'll Were you a commercial pilot? No, no sir. I'm a private pilot at the FR radio. No, no commercial. No, I, you know, but I, I try to keep up on it, and try to keep crying. So it's just a